Hello there. Have you ever seen terms like USB 3.0, USB 3.1 Gen 1, and USB 3.1 Gen 2? Have you ever wondered what the difference was? Watch this video to find out. There have been a lot of changes in the last 10 years regarding the tech industry. To name one of them, USB. USB 3.0 came out in 2009 and was the successor to USB 2.0, which many of you may have heard of. USB 3.0 is the third major version of USB. If you don't know what USB stands for, USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. As for what the title says, in this video, I will be explaining the difference between USB 3.0 and USB 3.1 Gen 1 and USB 3.1 Gen 2. I will explain the differences between the three subjects, but for now, let me introduce you to USB 3.1 Gen 1 and Gen 2. USB 3.1 Gen 1 and Gen 2 came out in July of 2013 and replaces the USB 3.0 standard. USB 3.1 preserves the existing super speed USB transfer rate, now called USB 3.1 Gen 1, while bringing a new transfer rate called Super Speed USB 10 Gbps, also known as 10 gigabits per second, which is also called USB 3.1 Gen 2, which can transfer rate at up to 10 gigabits per second, or 1.25 gigabytes per second. So, what's the difference between the three? Well, there isn't much of a difference at all between USB 3.0 and USB 3.1 Gen 1. Why? It's because of the same thing. The USB-IF organization published an article where they announced that USB 3.0 connectors capable of 5 gigabits per second would now be classified as USB 3.1 Gen 1. So when you get something that's that and it says USB 3.1 Gen 1, just remember that it's USB 3.0. Nothing faster. But USB 3.1 Gen 2 is where it gets better. Twice the transfer speed at 10 gigabits per second, improved data encoding, backwards and compatible, every USB standard is though, other than the higher much higher speed, there really isn't much of a difference. In order to tell the difference between USB 3.0 and USB 2.0, companies will usually put a blue color coding where the gold connectors are, as shown on screen. Also, when buying something that says USB 3.0, USB 3.1 Gen 1, or USB 3.1 Gen 2, make sure it is compatible with whatever you're buying it for. For example, if you have a USB 3.0 port and a USB 2.0 port available, and you want to buy a male to female connector extender so you can have your, for example, external CD drive within reach. Make sure your CD drive is USB 3.0. If you want to use the USB 3.0 port, get a USB 3.0 cable. But if it's a USB 2.0 CD drive, there's much purpose in buying a USB 3.0 cable and plug it into the USB 3.0 port, since the only the max speed and power the external CD drive can use is USB 2.0 it'd probably be inappropriate to use a USB 3.0 port. Because if you get something that uses USB 3.0, then yeah. But of course you could always just unplug it and put it back to USB 2.0. Well, I hope this brief explanation between the difference of USB 3.0, 3.1 Gen 1, and USB 3.1 Gen 2 helped you. Please remember that this video is on USB Type A and not Type C or Type B. If you want a video explaining the difference between a lot of the USB t types, leave a comment below. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, have a good day.